Hello guys, welcome to another video. My name is Todo Lokwe. Today I just want to show you my little battery station. Uh, before I go into all those details, I want to say a very big thank you to all of you that have been, you know, sending me good and you know encouraging words. I appreciate all your comments, your kind comments. I, I thank you so much. It has been overwhelming these past few weeks. I want to say a big thank you to you and uh, i promise to always do my best thank you very much um if you have not subscribed to this channel please do that's part of the encouragement we can get from you we we'll appreciate all of that so let's go right into this battery station it's a very little one for some of you that have donated your dead laptop batteries to me though i bought so many as well this is what i've been doing to those batteries one cell at a time Okay, so these are specialized equipment. I, I bought them uh, on AliExpress and uh, they, they, they can charge up to 16 cells per time. So once I get the you know dead laptop battery, what I do for is to open them up and remove the cells individually like this. I mean, all of these have been the work I've done so far, removing all of the you know uh, batteries from the dead laptop battery you guys donated and the ones that I bought. Um, I put them up here and then this one starts to charge you can see how it's counting right there and um, you know if anyone gets out in between the cells I remove them I mean that means those cells are already bad I make sure that at every point in time because I'm charging with so little current up to maybe max of um, of 500 milliamps so I do not expect any of these cells to go hot they should just sit down there quietly and get charged to 4.2 you know then we'll be able to test again and see if anyone will discharge by itself without being on any load so that's how it has been and um, this one takes a few hours to, to get done to get to maximum um, uh, voltage and uh, get fully charged so after which I remove each and every one of it let me show you how I did that. that, that. Once this uh, current goes to 0.0, it's just 0 0.7. That means this battery is uh, almost filled up. You know, it's uh, the current is tapering down. It tapers down as the battery is getting filled up. The current gets lower. You know, I mean that's just it. So I'll be checking it in a matter of minutes again when the current is on zero zero level this one has just completed charging it's uh, at 4.0 and 0, 0.0 amp so i'm going to be you know disengaging it from charging and then you know do the other things to it so what i need to do is first of all press stop so it stop charging then uh disengage it remove all the, all the cells testing them let's let's go there i can assure you none of this Self is you know hot during charging because I was checking at interval to test what each voltage is and if anyone doesn't meet up my threshold is 4.14 then I write it down keep it among the charged batteries here is where I keep those ones that have been charged Four point one five. so this is what I have to go through for each of the cells and uh, I can bet it with you <laughs> it takes a lot of patience you have to be very patient you know and then uh, get this thing going one after the other so 
it takes days. I believe the sacrifice is really worth it. Worth it if you consider the price of lithium in the market. I mean, this really worth it. Charge them up, see if anyone is hot, remove it. Then we charge the rest. Then, after charging, we write down the voltage. We leave it for a day or weeks, depending on you know our time frame. And then we we'll measure it again to see what the discharge rate is like. If it has discharged much more than expected, much more than 0.1 or max of 0.5 volts, then that battery will have a problem. So we we just leave it. We leave it be. Then those ones that survive that, you know, waiting test or self discharge, then we bring it to this place individually where we can now begin to test the capacity. This this plate will tell us the capacity in MAH. If it's 2000, if it's 1000, if it's 800, we'll be able to see it there. I'm still going to show you. Uh, the operation of all this uh, setup. So, like I said in the in the video, while I was making, it, uh, I will still buy more of this, so I can have at least twelve, and I can actually test twelve cells at the go. I mean, that would be much more faster. Uh, this rate, I, I can only charge about uh, okay, this sixteen and this twelve, twenty eight cells at a time. So, you know, I need more more of all this setup. This uh, IMAX B6 is a very intelligent um, charger. I mean, very, very intelligent and quite expensive, really, too, when compared to other chargers that I have. Thank you.